at our pub. Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope it's sunny where you are. It's a bit overcast here, but uh, I think it's a great way to start Net Zero Week. So I just wanted to set out really very plainly our commitment to Net Zero, uh, including the just transition to Net Zero and opportunities for more greener, better jobs, better homes, warm homes, cool homes in the summer, uh, better insulation. It was really great to hear Andy talking about some of the ways that Nesta can help with that as well. Uh, the Senate has a clear commitment to improve the quality of Welsh social homes and to create better and more sustainable homes too. And that's a commitment both to build 20,000 extra social homes for rent. Um, and we are uh, getting there with that. Um, when we set that target, we weren't expecting all of the various crises that we've had that all of you have lived through. But we are still working very hard with our local authorities and our social landlords to make sure that we get those houses up as soon as possible to make sure that people have access to a warm, safe, secure home. But it's also really important to make sure that the homes that we already have are better and more sustainable too. So this year we'll be providing further detail and definition to all of that. We'll be launching the heat strategy for Wales and a route map, route map for the decarbonisation of Welsh homes. I just want to really emphasise, David, to everyone listening today, that what we're talking about in decarbonisation is efficiency as well and making sure that people's bills do not go up. And in fact, they should come down very substantially because what we want to make sure of is that the heating systems work for people and that their houses are well insulated and they have renewables where that's possible. We'll be... Um, making sure that we work with everyone to do that. The government can't do any of this on its own. We can set the strategic direction, we can provide some of the funding, but we need everyone to work with us to be able to do that. And to make sure that happens, we want to ensure that tenants' voices are heard right at the centre of this debate. It's essential to the whole decarbonisation of social housing. The insights are invaluable as we develop and implement our policies. And I think I just caught the end of Andy's speech there and I just wanted to say um, that I'm with him. We really need people to work with us to make sure what works in each of the houses, that these are systems that people can live with, you know, mm -hmm. that they're easy to manage and maintain, that they uh, actually do bring their bills down, but they also make sure that they're both warm and cool as appropriate in the, to the season uh, and that our homes are good places to be. We've, uh, as you know, uh, I'm sure we've already done the Welsh Housing Quality Standard um, uh, previously. Everybody said it wasn't possible, but actually we've managed a really good job across Wales on making sure our homes are up to EPCD. The launch of the new Welsh Housing Quality Standard 2023 sets another clear signal of our commitment to ensuring all social tenants in Wales live in a quality house that they can be proud to call their own. And I make no bones about the fact that it's my ambition that social housing provided by our registered social landlords and our councils is housing to be proud of and that these are you know the best homes in Wales and uh, I've got some great stories uh, David where I've been privileged to speak to tenants who've moved yeah. into some of these houses and they have been absolutely delighted with the house and I've always remembered uh, one family um, in Ammonford who'd been living in pretty poor accommodation before telling me that they'd watched this beautiful housing going up on this site, assumed that it was yeah. a private estate and then been delighted to be offered a home on that estate. And uh, it's actually one of the best things I've ever done as housing minister is talk to that yeah. family about how delighted they were. So I want to make sure that that is an experience that's felt right across Wales for all of our tenants. And we want to make sure that we put the funding in place to do that. So we've put another 18.5 million additional funding in this year. That's on top of the major repairs allowance and the dowry that goes out to the um, uh, stock transfer uh, RSLs. Um, I want to build on those standards um, of making sure that we keep anti-poverty requirements at our heart and improve uh, energy efficiency. And that should help put more money into tenants' pockets as well as supporting comfort and well-being. I just want to be really clear this morning as we start this week that we want all of those things. We don't hedge our bets in any way. <laughs> we want people to be better off and we want them to be more comfortable and we want their well-being to improve as a result of this agenda. We also, of course, want to do our piece to make sure that we're combating climate change and the nature emergency. And all of the things in the Welsh Housing Quality Standard will help with that. One of the things I'm very keen to point out to people is the new Welsh Housing Quality Standard includes um, rainwater catchment systems. Right. People might think that's a really small thing and doesn't matter. But actually, the volume of water it keeps out of our sewers 
really helps stop the combined sewage outflow problem that we've got in our rivers because it does it stops the gullies being overwhelmed in the rainstorms that we frequently have around Wales. You might think it's a small thing, but actually added together, it's a huge thing and would really help water quality as well. And who would have thought the Welsh Housing Quality Standard would help improve water quality across Wales? But it, it really will. It's really important to do. I'm also very keen that people have storage and sheds where they have a garden or other storage and so on. This is all about making your home a better place to live uh, and a better place for the for the planet, if you like, as well, and for human beings on the planet. And then we're also doing a whole series of programmes. Uh, we've got something called the Innovative Housing Programme, where we tech trial things. People build a new yeah. house and they test out all the tech that they've got. And then we know it works and we can roll it out into the social homes. And we're optimised, the Optimised Retrofit Programme, which I know you're going to do a big bit of a deep dive into later on today are, yes. uh, with the <laughs> officials. Um, that has been supporting a testing and learning approach too. So we're putting 70 million into ORP in 24, 25 to make sure that that all works. And that includes feedback from tenants. And I'm really, really keen to make sure we get that feedback. How does this feel to live in and, ca and what can we do to improve it? Um, and then I just want to finish really by saying, you know, as I've said, I've, I've visited a lot of these around Wales. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was up in Flintshire where I saw their progress on uh, retrofitting 600 of their homes. And I spoke to a couple of the tenants on one of the estates that's been retrofitted. Uh, I actually spoke to somebody who'd built that housing 65 wow. years ago, <laughs> living on the estate as well, which was fantastic. Um, and the people there were just saying what an enormous difference it's made to them. They live in a community they're very pleased to be in. They know all their neighbours. Yeah. It's a very nice community. But now it's an efficient community and the houses are warm as well. And that's what we're looking for all across Wales. So it's really nice for me to be able to get out and see these programmes turn into real people. And what I really want to say, David, is I really hope this week really helps us move along that journey together. And I just wanted to come today and reiterate our commitment to doing that with you. Deal. Thank, thank you very much, Cabinet Secretary. It's great to hear about your ambitions and the Welsh Government's ambitions, um, not just to support the environment, but also, and more importantly, as you said, supporting tenants as well in the process of, um, you know, saving costs, providing more affordable heatings, but also homes that people can be proud of as well and feel comfortable and confident in living as well. So really appreciate sharing those ambitions with us. And as TPOS Cymru, we're obviously delighted to hear about really putting the tenant voice at the centre of some of these discussions around whether it's ORP, optimised retrofit, and net zero as well really making sure we're having those discussions gathering their insight as well and we're clearly seeing that can help um, and making sure those those sort of energy efficiencies do lead to actually lower fuel bills as well you know tackling poverty improving Absolutely. health and well-being as well so re really glad you could join us this morning um cabinet secretary so thank you for your time today pleasure. As well. a real pleasure i hope the rest of it goes really well